Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a comparison between USRP N210, which is an Ethos Research USRP N210, versus X310, which is also a USRP by Ethos Research. So let's do a brief comparative analysis. Okay, so N210, which is this guy, this is a network uh, series. Uh, USRP. It has the highest possible daughter card that can have, which is UBX40. Uh, that has a bandwidth of 40 megahertz, and it has a frequency range from 1 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz. Using a MIMO expansion cab cable, what you can do, you can connect two of these guys together and form a 2x2 two two MIMO. One by one, you can have like two as a transmitting and two as a receiving stream. And you can use a product called Octo G Clock by Ethos Research to actually make an array of these USRP N210. That's why N stands for network series. Okay, so some basic ports, you have your transmitting port, you have your receiving port, you have your ethernet port, you have your power, and you have MIMO expansion. Uh, I'll also show you how does a MIMO cable looks like on the back there's nothing else it's just plain now as compared to x310 which is a much better one as compared to network series it comes with okay this is the problem when i first got this you have to buy the board separately x310 separately and then you have to buy daughter card so if you think it has two by two extremes and you can have two transmitting stream on the same USRP and two receiving stream on the same USRP. But when you're buying it, you got to make sure you're buying two daughter cards because I just ordered a single daughter card. So this thing only has a single daughter card to get two by two MIMO from the same USRP, which is your X series. You need to buy two of these. Two of the uh, daughter cards. So in, in in inside of it, it has uh, it has a space for two of the daughter cards, RF daughter cards, which you can mount on your X310s. So I, I I got only a single one, so that's why I only have a single one. If you if I have another one, I'll mount it here. Then I'll get two transmitting port and two receiving port on the same board. Okay, this thing also has the same RF daughter card as compared to your network series but this one has a bandwidth of 160 megahertz and the frequency ranges from 1 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz so bandwidth is slight higher for x310 so it is known as ubx160 that is designed specifically for x series so the first thing you need to make sure when you're buying x series you buy two daughter cards if you want two by two it has a capability of getting two by two extreme uh, streams on the same uh, usrp but you have to buy it Second, let me just, uh, um, I want to talk about the myth. Okay, so let's just go through the port. JTAG is there. You have your two transmitting and receiving port. If you have another daughter card, you have two transmitting and receiving port. On the back of it, you don't connect it with an ethernet. It comes with a SPF connector that allows you to get data in terms of gigabits and 10 gigabits. So these are the two ports where you're going to connect your ethernet cable so this is for 1g 1 gigabit per second and 10g so this is an spf port that comes with it. so you can just simply insert it at this point right here and then you can insert your you can insert your ethernet cable and connect it to your computer to perform other things you have some reference in and out ports you have pci express port you have triggering you, if you want to mount GPS antennas and things like that, if you want to mount an additional sync clock, you can also do that. So this thing has all, all different variety of connectors at the back. This is a power cord, uh, power connector, and it comes with an adapter that looks something like this. It's a giant adapter for X310s. It has a port that looks like this, that goes right here. So this is the power adapter for it. While for USRP N210, you get a normal power adapter like this, which is about nine volts and about like four or five amperes. So this one simply just goes in here. 
and then you can just connect this. So it's about three amperes and six volts. So that's the power adapter for this. Okay, one thing I want to talk about is the bandwidth. Uh, when I when I so let me just remove this SPF connector. I want to talk about the bandwidth of these daughter cards. What do I mean by bandwidth of these daughter cards? So, so I have X310 here, and then I have, I have N210 here. Uh, what do I mean by bandwidth is this. When it says UBX 40 megahertz, what it means that 40 megahertz is that you can see simultaneously, you can see a spectrum up till 40 megahertz. And then when it says 160 megahertz, so this thing has a daughter card that, that supports 160 megahertz of bandwidth, that bandwidth is. So when you're running a GNU radio and when you are visualizing the signal, you can see a signal from 80 megahertz all, I mean, you can see the signal that lies within 160 megahertz of bandwidth. That's what it means. While on USRP N210, 40 megahertz daughter card means that you can see um, up till 40 megahertz at the same time on a frequency sync or, or, or same thing for X310s. So that's the idea behind what, what do I mean by bandwidth when you're buying these daughter cards. Um, UBX160 and UBX40, a stop of the line for N210 and a stop of the line for X310s. So, so I hope you like this small tutorial on the comparison between Ethos Research N210 USRP and X310 USRP. Um, in future videos, I'll just show you how to actually connect them and how to configure them. Um, I normally focus on uh, GNU radio because uh, I like GNU radio better. Uh, it has a lot of support as compared to other software. And I found it to be quite easier as compared to different softwares. You can either use it with MATLAB, LabVIEW, and all the other softwares which are there. But GNU radio is free, open source. You can use out of free module to perform different tasks. X310 also has a capability that you can do also RF NOC, which is RF network on chip, while N210 you cannot do that. That's the basic idea behind X310s and N210s in terms of bandwidth. So I hope you like this small tutorial or a comparison between X310s and three N210s. And if you have any questions, leave it in a comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.